Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this one we're going to be looking at a uh, fixing up footage. In this shot here we had some spots on the table but we had no way of uh, shutting or reducing the light amount and it got rather blown out and bloomy. Um, if, if we had dulled that down too much we would have lost a lot of the background. But we can fix that by turning it like this, getting rid of that bloom in Blender. So let's go over to Blender and we're going to first go to the movie clip editor and open that footage which was 50 uh, and select the footage checking how many frames that is 56 and immediately down below put in 57 frames because there's an extra one just zip to the end oh, because this starts on uh, one and the footage starts on zero so you offset it one and that's fine then we're going to go to our node editor turn on the editor with this double page thing use nodes and backdrop so we can see it we don't need the render layers layers node so let's add and input the movie clip and in the drop down box here select the footage we want and we're going to want to see an output of a viewer so that we can see our footage in this window the letter V will just zoom out a bit drag this window across and down and with this button turn it into a UV image editor so we can see make sure our footage is 100% and our frame rate is correct at 29 frames. Then we can push the render button to make sure that our composite is connected. Scroll with the scroll button to make it smaller to see the output of that. Right, the footage is not uh, changed at all. What we want to do is a little trick of a color node with a mix here. Let's put it into the line and we have just a white one on top. Add an input of a an image node and I have prepared an image here. And that image is a that is an image of a black blur that I have sprayed on over the area that I want to get rid of the bloom. So I'm going to add that into my mixer and connect back to the viewer. Turn on the um, the alpha and in you'll see it's all grayed out because it's just mixing the two together if I now go to mix and you can try different blending methods but soft light basically gets rid of that if I add in another output viewer we can see the difference between uh, from the original is washed out and there it is the bloom has been cut if I don't want it quite so severe I can t make that less by something like 0.8 to lighten it up and give me a little bit of blooming and then make sure that you're connecting your output to your composite render it there and you can see you've got that set a file type 
like a, a JPEG, for example, at a 100% RGB and go find where to put it and then animate and that will render off that sequence. Then you can re-import that sequence back into the project and render it out. And there, we've got rid of the bloom.